Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about mastering female shadows, honoring them and loving them. And the topic for this video is what would the mature masculine do? What is the highest possible frequency response that you can have at any given time? Optimize your energetic and emotional response when a woman blasts you with shadows. What is the highest possible frequency? What would a mature guy, the mature masculine, do in that situation? So every situation is unique, okay? You don't have a universal response that works for everything. Maybe, yeah. Just loving, acceptance can be a universal thing. But sometimes you need something that is a bit more subtle. Sometimes it's a boundary. Sometimes it's like, you know what, baby, enough. Enough for today. Let's take a break. Let's go to the beach. So step out. Another one might be, you know what, I'm going to take a break from seeing each other for a while. And sometimes it might be the mature masculine might go into fire, into intensity. It might be like, you want to pick a fight? Right now? Sure, I'm ready. What do you want to tell me? I'm going to blast you as well. I'm going to respond with the same degree of energetic and emotional intensity. If this is what you want right now, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. I'm ready for it. So you see, you have different emotional responses, possible emotional responses. Which one is the highest frequency? Which one is your truth at any given moment, any given time? Because sometimes you need to be like a ninja, right? A woman coming into your field and attacking you or challenging you or blasting you with emotions or demands or pressure or, you know, frustration or sadness. What is she doing? She's like coming with, with a certain energetic impact on your field. And you go like, okay, wow. You know, you have to learn how to play, how to navigate and how to be an energetic or emotional master ninja to be able to play with those energies. So, here is this question, it's like, what would the mature masculine do? So, if you offer a certain energetic response, like for instance, victimization. Oh, jeez, you always do that to me. I'm so exhausted with this thing, I don't know what to do anymore. You know, this is victimization, right? Victimizing. You go like, you're not a victim, you can get out of that anytime you want. Who is choosing to be present? Who is choosing to be there? So instead of victimizing, you take responsibility for what's going on. That would be a mature response, right? So, you know, the places where uh, you can, uh, you know, lose presence, for instance, getting overreacting or fighting back when it's not appropriate, um, you know, just entering into this, uh, this lack of flexibility or being too rigid with things, being too controlling, being too demanding, trying to fix her or change her, or, you know, abusing her in different ways. So, there is different aspects of the immature masculine that you might express in your life. And when you notice one of them, you go like, okay, wow, this looks like what, how I'm responding right now is pretty immature. I don't feel too proud of myself. So, if you go like, okay, that's immature, what would be the mature response? What would be the highest possible frequency at that moment? And sometimes the highest possible frequency would be like, Wow, that's funny what's happening. Having lightness and humor towards it. And sometimes it might be just being silent, being like, wow, yeah, I hear you, yeah, yeah, keep going. See, just listening and being present, that's it. So ask yourself this question, what would the mature masculine do? I love you, I'll see you soon.